Welcome to Caseware Quick Vids for Caseware Connector. In this quick vid, we will demonstrate the linkage of dates from Working Papers client file into a Microsoft Word or Excel document. Within this Word document, we will begin by launching the Working Papers linkage dialog, where a large variety of data is available from your Working Papers client file. We will focus on the Engagement Properties category, which includes all of the important dates of the file as well as information on the engagement itself such as the address and contact details. Let's scroll down to the dates, starting with the year and date. All of the other dates, including the period beginning and end dates, are dependent on the Working Papers client file. In this case, the period date sequence has been set to Q, or quarterly, and the current active period is set to 1, or the first quarter. To illustrate this, let's close the linkage dialog and switch to Working Papers, where we will change the date sequence to monthly and the active period to March. Launching the linkage dialog and scrolling back down to the dates, we can now see the date sequence has changed to monthly and we can now see the dates for all 12 months. In most reports, we will need to add the year-end date. We simply select the year-end date value and the calculation is automatically created in the field below. The default format is a short date as we can see in the results box. In the bottom right area, to change this to the long date, we simply change the function from S date to L date, and then we click the check mark to accept the calculation. Now let's say we need to create columns for the current year and prior year. Let's put our cursor here in the Word document, and back in the linkage dialog, we manually change the L date to year and accept it. If for the prior year, we use the same calculation but manually add a minus 1, we now have our column dates. This concludes our demonstration on date linkages. Thank you for watching Caseway QuickFids.